Hello, my name is Jiří Šimonek, the co-founder of the CFD support company, and I would like to introduce you features of the brand new Turbo Machinery CFD 1806, released in June 2018. At first, I will briefly talk about the general CFD software changes, then new general CFD features, new post-processing features, changes in the graphic user interface, and the last section will be dedicated to brand new tutorials that come alongside the TCFD 1806. CFD software changes. We have used the newest update of OpenFoam Dev as a computational core of the Turbo Machinery CFD. It corresponds with the newest bug fix of OpenFoam 5. The OpenFoam Dev is continuously maintained by the OpenFoam Foundation. New general CFD features. There is one new machine type available in the version 1806. It's a wind turbine for development of the wind turbine propellers. And the second general CFD feature is the direct import of binary STLs. In the newest TCFD version, there is a possibility to import the surface geometry of the model not only in ASCII, but also in binary STL file. And then, of course, run an automatic 3D mesh generation on it. New post-processing features. There are now available all the necessary post-processing functions for evaluation of the external aerodynamics flows, including rotating parts. Like for ships and their propellers, for airplanes, including propellers, cars with rotating wheels, as well as for wind turbines. There is possible to evaluate drag and lift forces and coefficients, as well as all torques acting on rigid bodies and torque, thrust and power generated or required on its propeller. Changes in the graphic user interface. At CFD support, we always think about the user friendliness and intuitiveness of the graphic user interface. So in the TCFD version 1806, we are introducing two new useful features. At first, the real-time residual monitor, which plots the convergence on the main variables interactively during the CFD simulation. And the second new feature is the color differentiation of the user setup mode and the advanced setup mode in the graphic user interface. Once the main lines in graphic user interface are in yellow, then the user setup mode is active. User can switch to the advanced setup by clicking on this gear button, and the lines in graphic user interface become orange. In this mode, CFD experts can do finer tuning of the simulation setup. Brand new tutorials. The first one, Spitfire, shows the simulation setup of external aerodynamics of an airplane with a propeller, including an automatic evaluation of its torque and thrust, as well as lift and drag forces and roll, pitch and yaw torque of the whole airplane. And the second one is the wind turbine, which shows the simulation setup of a wind turbine, including an automatic evaluation of its efficiency and torque and power generated by the wind, as well as the aerodynamic forces acting on its blades. Those were the key features introduced in the newest TCFD 1806. Please take a look on other videos. There are video tutorials, as well as the features of the previous TCFD versions which are also included in the TCFD 1806. Feel free to contact us in case you are interested in using the new Turbo Machinery CFD. We will gladly answer all your additional questions or give a one-month trial version. So thank you for watching this video.